All right, next is going to be next gen. When it comes to the next gen takeovers, we got the same tiers, except now we have don't you. The next gen takeovers, you might guess it, just not as balanced. It's pretty much the current gen takeovers, but they're split up. Now, not all the same things kind of work. Like Playmaker takeover on current gen, you get ankle breakers. That's now just shot creator. That's another thing that you can still do on current gen, but they strictly have it towards shot creator takeover on next gen. So yeah, when it comes to slasher take, slasher take when it comes to advanced gathers i think this is a usable takeover it's pretty much fancy footwork but the takeover so yeah i think that's a good take but besides that um i think there are better options um, advanced post moves so this is pretty much if you're trying to do drop steps and all that type of stuff i think that's pretty overpowered that's just me um ankle breaking shots this is pretty much taking people's ankles the takeover but also if you do a spin jumper a hop jumper you're going to get an added bonus to hitting those shots. So it's not just taking ankles, but it's also like some shot creator stuff within the takeover to hit those type of shots. So I think that's easily a top tier takeover. Box out wall. This is pretty much so you can worm or get better box outs. Pretty much um, box out beast, the bad, the takeover. So I'm going to say that's another usable. You could argue which one you think is better out of advanced gathers and box out wall. I'm not going to do all that. Easy blow by is pretty much an automatic blow by every single time, no matter what their clamps is, all that type of stuff. The only way we can really cancel this out is with extreme clamps. So, and even then, it may not fully cancel it out. I will say that. Um, so, yeah, easy blow by especially how people want to rim run on this game, I would argue it's top tier. I think Echo Breaker breaking shots a little bit better because it actually does some benefit to like hitting your shots and you can take ankles, but easy blow by is a little bit easier to activate than any other stuff that you're getting ankle breaking shots. I just think ankle breaking shots just does more in totality. Um, but it has jump shot contest. This is pretty much, this is pretty overpowered in a way, but I'm gonna say it's top tier. Um, it's just gonna get you pretty much extremely good shot contest, but it is um, that one, I forgot what the badge name is, but the takeover, I'm gonna be honest. Extreme clamps, this is clamps, but the takeover. Um, but it is a really good takeover. Um, like I said, I'll probably put this up there with the easy blow buys of the world. Uh, finishing moves Finishing moves. This is pretty much at the beginning of the year. I would probably say it's like low tier top tier to high usable Now it's definitely like top tier top tier like it's top It's like at the top of top tier in, the, in that realm. Maybe even be overpowered uh, Pretty much what they did was they made the dunk meter a lot easier when you get finished when like when you activate this so like you're gonna make more layups but now your dunk meter is like your green one on the dunk meter is exponentially bigger and it's a lot harder to miss dunks when you have this so yeah finishing moves has to be top tier i don't think like it's odd or anything but yeah for sure glass carrying dimes glass carrying dimes i'm about to say i'm about to say glass carrying dimes is when it comes to getting rebounds and passing it out is really good. When it comes to leaking out the ball, it's really good. When it comes to a lot of things, it's really good. So glass hand dimes, I'm about to put. I'm gonna put glass hand dimes right there. Interior bass drop. Um, this is like a badge that pretty much it drop a people tier a badge a tier like all they badges a tier but they have to be in the paint and you have to be guarding them so i would say that's like more so usable um and i and we've already confirmed that if you double up on these badges it doesn't like drop their badges too and stuff like that it doesn't like do any it doesn't do anything like that so that's a big nerf uh so yeah uh limitless range i think limitless range is a broken one because it extends your range and it makes it a lot easier to score within your range so like when you have to guard people from out further, it's easy to get rim runs and all that type of stuff. So, like, I think a lot of aspects to limitless range that really makes it really, really good. Negative impact. You can green anything that's a fade. Whether it's a spin jumper, a hop jumper, a pull up, a fade. Any of that can get green no matter the contest. That is broken. That is quite easily broken. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is quite easily a broken takeover. Paint intimidation. Hands up defense, really good. Um, I would say, I would say this is right here. I think the only thing that's better than it in top tier is finishing moves. Uh, perimeter brass drop. That is a, I would say it's it's more usable on, for locks in my opinion. So I would say it's like right here. Post playmaking. 
post playmaking pretty much it helps your it's pretty much like dimer but a takeover but for post scores and you have to have this i would say this is a don't use personally because there's just other like if you're going with a takeover take i would say or a, a post takeover i would say you would go with any of the post score takeovers before that and like i just don't see like what's the point of you using this one it's just in general um post shot daggers i think this is like a this is like a top tier take i would say Oh, but this helps you hit hooks, fade. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's broken. That's going to have to go broken. Post power back down, that's a broken. That's got to go up here to, like, limitless range. Like, it's so hard to guard somebody that has power back downs. Like, yeah, man, I'm going to be honest. Like, yeah, it's so much you can do with that. You can go with a fade. You can do a drop step after. You can just put somebody all the way under the rim and just dunk that. yet. Like, yeah, it's no, it's, no, it's no way around this one. It's just no way around it. Pull up precision. I think pull-up precision for guards is definitely up there. I would have to put this up there as a limitless range because I think I think guards are more so likely to do a fade than a post score is to do like a or then a then a post yeah then a post score is supposed to do like a fade because I think post shot daggers is really only good for like uh, hooks in my opinion. Way too many takeovers on the next gen. That may be facts. I'm gonna be honest. Um, the current gen takes are way more balanced anyway. See the future. This pretty much just tells you where the ball is gonna go if, if you're missing. I think that's gonna that's gotta be at the top of usable. Um, yeah, uh, spotter precision. I'd say spotter precision is. <coughs> There's no way glass screen dimes is like that high. I'm gonna be honest. Like, There's just no way. Like there's no way that's that high. Um, I don't even know what I was on when I ranked that. Uh, spotter precision. Um. Spotter precision. This is a good take. It's gonna just pretty much help you hit, more, get more greens. It's gonna give you a bigger green window. Um, you can kind of shoot from deeper because it does make your green window bigger. And if you don't have limit, I went over this multiple times when it comes to limitless range. If you don't have limitless range, like you can shoot from anywhere that you can actually get a regular jump shot. Your just, green window is just smaller depending on what your limitless range badge, or if you have a limitless range take. Now, if you have a lim the higher you have a limitless range badge, the bigger your green window will be from out further. So. If you have a really high limitless range badge alongside spot precision, that's really, really broken. If you have, I think it's broken for like, if you have a 99 three pointer build, I think spot precision is like arguably right here. But for everybody else, like if you have a 92 three ball, it's like, it's like, it's like right here. It's like neck and neck for limitless range. But anything under like, anything under gold limitless range, I would say is just like top tier. I would say it's like, I would say it's just right here. So like, I'm gonna say it's broken, but I think majority of people don't really have, I don't think people have uh, the ability to have 99, 92. Now, if it is majority of people, then yeah, it's, you see where I would put it based off of your three point rating. Um, stuff blocks, stuff blocks is very simple. I'm gonna have to say stuff blocks. I'm gonna put that right here. Uh, T badge Bruce. Okay, all these playmaker takeovers, team takeover boost. We already cleared that. That doesn't. It doesn't do. It doesn't like double if you have double. So I'm at to say team takeover boost is it like uh, I say it's like a uh, right here. Um, team ratings boost. Um, I would say that's like a right here. I think how essential could team ratings boost? I'll put it, I'll put it right here. Team badge boost, I'll put it right here. That's my takeover tier list for the next gen takeovers. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. 